Our next guest has turned her attention to identifying and overcoming the hidden stresses in our lives. We've all got them, but if you feel overwhelmed by having too much work, well, you're in good company. The Firefighters Union actually said on News Hubs because it matters that an increase in traumatic callouts for them from St John is pushing their staff to breaking points. I think everyone's hurting. Um, we might not all be showing it or we're, we're <laughs> hiding it. Um, but I think, um, yeah, everyone here is hurting. But it's not just high pressure jobs like firefighting where workers are feeling it. So what about the stress that you carry that you don't even know you're hiding it? That's what this book is about from Dr Libby Weaver and please welcome her to the project. <laughs> welcome. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> um, why did you want to write this book? It was time for a deeper conversation about stress. I feel like so many people just walk around with the mantra in their mind, I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed, and feel helpless to change it. And it's having dire consequences on our physical bodies and on our mental health. So we have the book is designed to help people get deeper into what is stress for them as individuals. What's the main message of the book then? that uh, of course there is genuine stress and genuine distress in the world, but there is also stress that we create for ourselves. So it's putting people back in the driver's seat of being able to determine what is self-created, because if it's self-created because of our perceptions and the way we view ourselves and the world and our relationship with other people, we can start to change it. Is it possible people are watching this and saying, well, I'm not a firefighter face facing life or death situations, so I probably don't need the book because I'm not stressed, but it can be anyone, right? It doesn't have to be that big. Absolutely. So I think in a firefighting situation, that is genuine stress. There is a genuine threat to their life, to others' lives. There's urgency. That is true stress. That's why we have stress hormones. Yet for so many people, their adrenaline, their cortisol, which communicates to the physical body that our life is in danger, it drives blood pressure changes, digestive system changes, that's created from, block your ears everyone, caffeine consumption, our perceptions of pressure and urgency when things aren't urgent, but also the way we perceive others see us. I, I call them forehead words, so it's as if we've got these words plastered across our foreheads, and they're traits, they're ways we want to be seen. And if you pause in the moment where you get really worked up, you'll start to notice that some of our stress comes when we perceive there's a risk that someone is seeing us in a way that's not yeah. congruent with how we want to this be seen. This is good, this is really connecting with me because, you know, I've had a and stress, I've just been open about it, which is the issue with people potentially putting their butts on television remotes, <laughs> yeah. uh, or, or phones for that matter, or the kettle. Um, just I do any, most of the room. Any <laughs> item. Yeah. Libby, is this a problem that you've dealt with before? Is there a chapter on the book on To be this? honest, no, it's not something that I've heard. And I'm actually travelling throughout New Zealand for the next 12 weeks <laughs> uh, on tour talking about overcoming overwhelm, so I might need to weave it in. Um, <laughs> you do have a chapter on saying no. Yeah. How important is it to say no and how do you say no if you're not very good at it? Well, I think it's a beautiful thing to say yes. It fosters caring and kindness towards others and a great sense of community and we mustn't ever lose that. However, the challenges come when we feel like there's only one way that we can be with others, which is almost that people-pleasing, isn't it? We don't say no because we're worried that others will think we're not kind or thoughtful or selfless or however, whatever the forward word is, however we want to be seen. And Libby, here's a question for, for you. I mean, you've written books and... and, and, and good ones at that but have they helped you do your tips help yourself <laughs> yeah you're, a, you, yeah. you're, you're, you're out it's incredible you work so much oh i have it's what i care about i honestly feel really privileged to do work that i love in the world and it would be wasted if as i'm researching and working things out it would be wasted if it just stayed with me so i just i hope what i do is useful okay the uh, new book is called the invisible load please thank dr libby weaver thank you.